Hello everybody and welcome on in. So I've been trying out a new build. I've been trying out the throwing hatchet and this is an interesting weapon. I'll be honest, it's not the best range weapon in the game, but it has some pretty good utility that uh, I hope these few fights here can kind of highlight and it can actually do some pretty meaty damage on the right build. So I decided to pair it with Sword and Shield, obviously because they both scale from primarily strength and secondarily dexterity, so I'm getting a good amount of damage stat uh, with this uh, pairing like this, but on top of it, I think that Sword and Shield is just a good pairing because it offers great utility. There was a one-shot build that was going around for a very long time using Sword and Shield and Hatchet. People still kind of do it now by using the Feral Rush from Hatchet, but that's not what I wanted to go with at all for this build. I just wanted to try out Hatchet as a viable ranged secondary or even a ranged primary weapon. So I've got a few fights for you guys here, just my early on gameplay of this build and my early impressions of Hatchet as a throwing weapon. So this first fight here, hanging out inside this keep and there is a uh, 2v2 going on with the other two factions. And of course I just jump in there and try my best to get some damage into anybody that I can. I get some decent damage into this mage here. The purple player ends up jumping on top of him, hitting him with that stun and I manage to connect the throwing axe there to finish him off. And then right away I jump on top of the purple player. Love the gap closer from Sword and Shield. Um, because we are playing Hatchet on the back bar, we do have a bit more mobility with the social distance throw. So the combination of the two really nice for a build like this and you can see there I'm just able to uh, keep myself kind of safe and out of range of the flamethrower here by using those combination of skills and uh, this is a tricky combo I think for any build to fight a bruiser and a mage you've got a powerful ranged opponent and then a chunky melee fighter sitting in front and this guy's going for flamethrower as well so it's going to be very hard for me to successfully approach I go in there try to land this stun with my sword and shield and uh, that was definitely not successful. I get hit really hard by the Axe player and then very quickly just reposition with uh, the gap close and just get to some terrain here to try to LOS a few of these ranged attacks and most importantly keep that bruiser off of me. Um, this is tricky though because he's constantly putting himself between me and the mage and uh, it's going to be hard to land with the throwing axe especially if you've got someone in front. The throwing axe is hard to aim. I'll just say that right off the bat. It, it is pretty fun to use, but man, it's got a lot of lob to it. And the hit window of it, I don't think is even as big as the bow and arrow. So it's pretty tricky to hit your target with it, especially if they're trying to avoid it. And uh, these guys are just putting a lot of pressure on. But again, the mobility of Sword and Shield Hatchet just really coming in here. Uh, Berserk as well. A fantastic counter skill to getting caught in any stun. And of course, the mobility that it provides. And I finally managed to catch a nice stun on this mage. And then I go right away for the heavy attack. Roll away. Go for the gap close off Sword and Shield. Managed to land that stagger. And those partially charged heavy attacks. I am absolutely in love with this on the Sword and Shield. Uh, you can load up the heavy attack and kind of go for a medium attack if you let go of it a little early and it gives you a very fast thrust that actually pushes your character a pretty good distance so you can track towards opponents with it as well and uh, you can see I am able to bring that mage down and then this guy goes for the hammer stun and I go for the berserk a little early should have waited until he landed the stun to break it but uh, after landing the stun he decides to retreat back inside the keep and uh, a little bit of time goes by I decide to go back around the top and I end up skirming a little bit with this guy up at the top. The mage ends up uh, following me back up to the top as he did respawn as well. And I'm just going to do my best to uh, try to put a bit of damage in here. That first fight, we didn't really get a lot of really good hits with the hatchet. You more of saw the utility of it um, as a weapon. And here you could see a nice combo there going for the leaping strike, hitting him with the stagger right away with the light attack. And then I try to hit him with the rending hatchet there. Unfortunately, I end up missing. But there's a connection on the social distance. That's going to put the snare on him and give me a little bit of a mobility boost. And I'm able to get a bit of damage in, again, using that partial charged heavy attack. But these guys stay aggressive on me. They follow me up the top. I manage to get uh, a little bit of a heal off in that combination. And then I get the stagger off on the mage he is actually just trying to walk away from this there's the connection on the hard stun and then i go for the heavy attack and follow it with the leaping strike over 6k damage on that combo and there's the throwing axe to finish that guy off now uh these guys end up chasing me around a little bit and i get in a very prolonged fight against them so eventually they do end up getting the kill on me so moving on to the next fight here in opr there you can see nice jump with the leaping strike and then i hit him with the sword and shield bash into that 3.6k backstab he ends up going down right away 
And then I jump on top of this archer who is, uh, yeah, just sitting there shooting arrows into the fight. He had catch him pretty off guard here. He ends up rolling off the edge, but he's out of stamina as he tries to escape and a few light attacks to finish him down. And uh, this enemy player on top of the siege just shooting at me. So I come up to the top here. He ends up running off and uh, this guy ends up running off as well. It looks like my team did, however, lose this fight here, and as soon as I drop outside of the keep, I get uh, pretty much bum-rushed by a bunch of reds. Go for the gap close to stay inside the keep here. Just getting hit by that snare, I managed to get out of it in time, but the gravity well comes down, and there you see Berserk coming in so handy, just breaking me right out of that stun, and not only that, but the healing power that Berserk provides as well, just keeping me from dying to the dots there, and uh, I'm able to survive and drop down the edge, Look around the side here to see if anybody else dropped down, but nobody did, so I head back inside the keep, and I get caught right away by this enemy mage's uh, immobilize. I throw the stagger hatchet at him from social distance throw, try to land the rending throw after, but unfortunately he ends up dodging it, and then these two bruisers jump on top of me. A little bit of a misclick with that jump. This was actually one of the very first fights that I got in on this build, so... Yeah, my aim's not great, and uh, I'm still kind of looking at uh, what abilities I need to be using instead of instinctively going for the skill that is the best call there. And again, Berserk is able to safely get me out of that dangerous position and give me quite a lot of healing power. And this guy drops off the edge, but he ends up going around the other side, and they close the door so I can no longer get in, but it's a blessing in disguise because it forces me, for the first time on this build, to actually try out a purely ranged fight with the hatchet. So I got two players up top shooting at me, and this is where the hatchet actually really surprised me. It's hard to aim, but when you do land, it actually does some pretty chunky damage. There you can see uh, 2.4k on the crit, 2k on that next crit, and his health is already super low. And the fact that the hatchet lobs coming in clutch there because he thinks he's safe, but the hatchet drops down and gets the kill on him. And uh, I end up just dying eventually as more red players show up. So there you go, guys. That's all the footage I have for you today. I am going to show you a quick rundown of the build as I say goodbye here and just talk a little bit about the hatchet. It is a pretty interesting weapon to use as a throwing weapon, but I gotta say it's probably the worst ranged weapon in the game just due to the fact that it is very hard to accurately land those hatchets on enemy players. That being said, it has been a lot of fun to use and I think the utility that hatchet provides definitely outshines the fact that it is not the most effective throwing weapon. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue playing this build myself, but uh, if I do, I will put a more comprehensive build guide together for you guys and talk about it. And if you guys have tried out some throwing axe, I would love to hear what you guys think about it and uh, what actually ended up working or not working for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you want to see some written guides to my builds and possibly this build in the future, if I put it on my website, you can check out pvpnewworld.com for those guides. You can give me a follow on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with me. Give me a follow on Twitch if you want to catch some live gameplay. And I feature the New World Top 5 battles. If you have an awesome fight that you want to see in a New World Top 5, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. This show is sponsored by What the Fast. It's a VPN for gamers that can give you better ping to your favorite games. Free to try for the first month. There's a link down below. And of course, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Thank you guys for being a part of it for so long. Thank you everybody just for tuning in and watching. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to some more in the future. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you next time.